believe you are here in Puerto Rico. <laughs> well, believe it. And you can thank my abuela. Thank you, abuela. <laughs> I'd love to meet her. Oh, you'd love her. She is a force of nature. So that's where you get it from. <laughs> my abuela is only five feet tall and 100 pounds, but that lady is a fireball. Sounds like maybe we should raise a glass to her then. <laughs> How about a frozen margarita? I'd love one. Perfect. Two Cadillac margaritas coming up. <laughs> the key is always using a reposado tequila. It's aged in oak barrels. You really know your stuff. I'm impressed. Oh, my mother wasn't. Let's just say she was less than thrilled with my decision to become a bartender. OK, first of all, there's nothing wrong with bartending. Thank you. And secondly, you're doing so much more. You not only manage Charlie's, but you're getting that youth shelter off the ground. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my mother's, you know, she's finally made peace with my choices, and she's come to respect my decision to do what I want with both Charlie's and the Princess Davis house. Why are we talking about my mother? What should we toast to? Uh, to me, the new face of deception. <laughs> You're really going to be the new face of deception? That is huge. Maybe we should be switching to champagne. Uh, don't pop the cork yet. I haven't even accepted the offer. I need to think about it. I don't love the idea of giving up what's left of my privacy. And I'm not sure I should split my focus. Well, you seem like a woman who's capable of anything. I'm at a point where I finally have control of my career. And I refuse to be obligated to anyone ever again. Yeah, but did you always want to be on stage? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I dreamed of being a megastar fill up stadiums like Beyonce, and make headlines every time a new song drops. Wow. <laughs> kind of seems like you're on your way. But I still want to live my life and have privacy and be able to date who I want without it being a tabloid headline. But the more popular I get, the more impossible that becomes. It sounds like that is a lot to navigate. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm finally getting everything I ever wanted, and now I'm whining about it. Mm. No, I do not think you are whining about it at all. No, to me, it just seems like you are a woman who is trying to figure out how much you want to sacrifice to reach your goals. You should be able to live your dream without having to give up your life. Well, I already know one upside to being in the public eye. Go on. Uh, we would have never met if you hadn't recognized me. So that's definitely an argument in favor of fame. <laughs>